I wasn't sure what I was going to use to make it, and I didn't want to. I didn't want to fabricate everything. And a buddy of mine took me to an airplane junkyard, and it was when I saw the parts in this junkyard that I realized, like, I totally need to make this out of airplanes. I don't really plan on what I'm doing. I just kind of start mashing buttons, and it's hard to operate everything at once because I only have two hands. I did just put the mouth fire on a foot pedal, but I seem to never use it. So um, I try to imagine what it looks like from the ground to give it organic human-like motions, but um, I don't really plan it. I just kind of by seeing videos, that's how I learned what it looks like. And, you know, this looks good, this motion looks good. So yeah, there's not a whole lot of planning going on. Yeah, I definitely hope to inspire younger kids and younger generation. And I think to start out, to me, I try to support the message of use reclaimed objects, stop it from going to the landfill, stop it from going into the ocean. So you can start with anything, like any anything is a usable material. And, and for me, using trash or discarded objects that's what I want to make art out of because it's it's going to a landfill, you know? Like save it, repurpose it. So for the younger generation, I encourage them like build build with whatever you can find. I'd like to say something positive about our prize. I think it's an amazing thing for a city to do. Uh, the voting system seems like it's had some mixed reviews. Um, but this is a cool thing, and the fact that I'm able to bring out really big art and share it with people—it's it's, been—it's been a great, a great experience. So yeah, I definitely Grand Rapids, keep doing what you're doing.